but look, the, the, the big talking points, mate. We have got to get into it because yeah. it's been a it's been a bombshell weekend of uh, action, mm -hmm. and kind of really away from the pitch, you know, in terms of oh, what's word. happened. Um, what did you make of Antonio mm. Conte's? Because I've not actually spoke to you mm. about Antonio Conte's <coughs> comments after the game. Well, there's, I've been listening to a lot of, of what's been said. Listen, you know, heard what you said at the weekend and this morning. A lot of people have had their say. There's not much you can really s or add to what's been said because I, I feel, I feel there's many different strands to this. Had they had they not conceded late on, you wouldn't have got the outburst. No. Right, you, no. you know, three to a win away from home, Southampton. Wherever, wherever the, you play, this a win away from home in the, in the Premier League is, is a win away from home. But to have lost it when you're three one up, that would have that would, that would have hurt. Now I saw the way he celebrated the goals. Right, so he wants to. He's a winner. He is. He's. I don't care what anyone says. He's a winner. Yeah. And he doesn't like that feeling of 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 of. of He's not used to it, of not succeeding, not picking up a trophy at the end of the season, not being top of the tree, or not having something to show, something tangible to show for the, what the season's hard work. And I think he lost it a little bit. There's a lot of people saying he wants to sack. I don't think he really cares. I don't think he cares what he says now. I don't think he cares. I don't think no. he cares what you think, what the board think, the fans think, the players think. But that's that's He's, a problem, right? Yeah, it's it's a terrible, you know, it's when, terrible. you know, because my take on on this, Jace, I I didn't disagree with some of the things he come out and said about you know the players and the way they were mm. playing and mm. you know just having the balls to play under pressure and like, I totally get that, but. For me, that's what you say behind closed doors in a dressing room. For him to come out and say stuff like that, he's, he don't care. He, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's shooting from the hip, right? He doesn't really care about what's no. coming out of his mouth. And when you are the owner of a football club, and there's a lot that I don't agree about with Daniel Levy and how he's run the club yeah. and how he's let players stay there for so long who don't deserve to be in a Tottenham shirt. Yeah. But if, you're, if your manager is coming out with them outrageous bursts, there comes a point when you go, you know what? He's just he's damaging the football club. Oh, he's damaging everything now. He, he, he's 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 dangerous. He's yeah. very dangerous. He, you know, he's shooting from the hip. Doesn't care what what direction he shoots to. At doesn't care what what who he's hitting on the on the way. Yeah. What 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 he did, and I've heard of this a lot. He, yes, he did speak a lot of home truths. And it's hard when your manager comes out and says things like that. But you know, there's more to it than that. They, the way Spurs have played this season, I saw what they did when they went to five at the back of the weekend, right? A bit like Pot, what Potter did, went a little bit defensive, went safe, made the substitutions to ensure that the lead was intact. Well, what you do in that case, as we know, you actually do invite a little bit of pressure. That's come from him. That's come from the bench. I don't mm. care what anyone says. There is no way that Porro one side, Davis the other, have decided, you know what? I'm going to sit in here now. I'm going to make a five. That has come from, that's been coached. So he's got to take some responsibility. But yeah. As we know, managers tend not. It's everyone else's fault. The man is either the assistant, the referee. Now he's turning on his players. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of time, it feels, until mm. he eventually has to depart because it, it's it's serving no purpose right now. It's, you know, imagine going in next week after the, after the international break, trying to prepare for the next game. Mm. Imagine what that's going to be. He's gone back to Italy, right? I think he has. Yeah. Um, I think I yeah, see him on a Ryanair flight. Yeah, someone said that to me. Yeah, he's on a Ryanair. Well, you got to get back there. Oh my, you've travelled with Ryanair. Oh my god, not having it. Oh, I think they're all right. That's the job. Just gets you where you need to go. It's like driving around in a, you know, in an old banged up Mini Cooper. You, you get, it still gets you from A to B, doesn't it? Terrible. You want to get to where you're no, going. It's terrible. No. No. Anyway, we well, ain't um, getting any free flights from Ryanair. No, well, no, no, I wouldn't take it. Man. Wouldn't thank you. <laughs> wouldn't thank you. But let's hear a bit of that explosive post-match interview with Spurs boss Antonio Conte now. I don't know, because they are used here. Don't play for something important. They don't play... Uh, they don't want to play under pressure. They don't want to play under stress. It's easy in this way. Tottenham's story is this. 20 years that there is the owner and they never won something. But why? Only for the, the fault is only for the club or for the every manager that stay uh, here and... Uh, I have seen eh, the manager that Tottenham had. You risk to disrupt the figure of the manager and to protect the other situation in every moment. I, until now, I tried to hide the situation, but now no, because I repeat, I don't want to see what I have seen today, because this is unacceptable. Also for the respect for the fans. They follow us, pay the tickets, and to see the team another time. To have this type of performance, for me, I repeat, this is unacceptable. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, explosive comments. Uh, TalkSport understands that the board at Spurs are weighing up viable options to replace Antonio Conte with Champions League qualification still mm -hmm. a target. Um, look, let's go to Joe, who's a Spurs fan. All right, Joe? Good evening, lads. Um, look, Joe, you've heard that um, interview again from Antonio Conte. What do you make of it all and, and how he's gone about it? Look, it's, you, when you're manager of the club, you're still employed by the board, you're the manager to them players, you can't be saying that to the public in a press conference like that. But he's not wrong. And that's what I spoke about Daniel Levy. We all know the problems that you know he's caused at the club. And you know, Conte's not blameless. But for these players, where some of them have been here 10 years, I think they just needed to hear something like that because there's too many of them who have let Pochettino down Jose Mourinho down, mm -hmm. uh, Nuno down, and Conte down now, that will still be at the club next season. I mean, you're, you're manager killers. This is a, OK, here's a question. You're both Spurs fans. Are you genuinely surprised that you, to find yourself in this situation with another manager? Um... No. No, I thought it might be. I, I, I genuinely thought it'd be different with Antonio Conte. But you yeah, I, you know, because look, we've had we've had managers in the past who you know have been at the end of their eras. You like Jose yeah. Mourinho. You know, he come in and he's at the end of his era a little bit. You know, but I thought Antonio Conte was he's at the top of his trade. You know, he's he's a, he was a, such a huge manager to get. He just won the league, so him coming in, I thought he would change it. So, but are you surprised? I was. I'm. I am surprised. You're surprised. It's, this I'm happened, surprised it's ended, or if it, it, it does end. I think right. if it does end like this, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm surprised and disappointed. Yeah, I will, no doubt. But it, I'm. I can't sit here and say that I'm genuinely shocked. I can't sit. If this was Arsenal or this was Manchester United, or, I would. It'd be like God. But Spurs have been doing this. I mean, really, since Poch left, it's been a conveyor belt of killing managers, hasn't it? Oh, by a similar kind of way. I know, but we can, look, Joe. What 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 do Spurs do now, Joe? What is the the right answer moving forward? Um, I think just we need to go back to someone like Pochettino and build from a young core in the in the starting from the back. And even if that means getting rid of Kane and Son in the summer, I think we just need to use that money and start from scratch. Jeez, that is a rebuild. Yeah, I mean, you get wow. rid of your two best players, Joe. That's surely That's a rebuild. You can't get rid of Kane and Son. Well, I think it's just we might have an option with Kane to keep him as much yeah. as I'd love him to stay. Oh, yeah, we might not have the too option. Much, too much at the club now that have been here for too many years, and I think it's all of them. They've just got the wrong mentality about it, and it's just costing us still to this day. Mm. Oh, right, Joe, Joe, sounds, Joe sounds terrible. He does, doesn't he? Well, a lot of a lot of Spurs fans know, feel like know, that at the moment. This one's Saturday. I mean, we're Monday now. I mean, you got to move on. Mm, do I don't you? disagree with what he said, mate. Like, you know, it's it's a tough one as a manager. You're off the pitch, your emotion, your emotions, and he wears his heart on his sleeve. You can't come out and just hammer the no, whole you can't. squad. No, and the we, they're, they're playing. They're playing. The, the history. Well, of basically, he's saying, basically, he's saying. Basically, saying he doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in the job that he's doing. He doesn't believe in the people he's working for. He doesn't believe in them. Mm. Doesn't trust them. So you can't be doesn't, there. No, you can't be there. No, no. It, it, it's it's a matter of time. It's it's a question of when. Mm. He knows it's happening. Everyone knows it's happening, and it's a question of when they decide to pull the trigger. There's a there's a two week break now. Traditionally, international break is an area where where owners can change the manager and they can bring the the man in they want, but they wait until the end of the season. I mean, everyone's talking pots, right? I'm, oh. I'm I'm really torn on that one, Jay. With the punches. why? Why? Because it's just a, it's going back. It's it. I can see both arguments. Um, but he's going back to the to a similar club, isn't he? Well, he's going back to some of the same players. That's for sure. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think he's going back to the same club. You know, the club has grown in terms of the stadium you know you've got mm. an incredible stadium now and there is a bit more money to spend I think when they were building the stadium I don't think mm. they had loads of money to spend at the time they have got money they spent £150 million pounds. do I agree with the players that come in have mm. they performed no but I think it's, if Pochettino does come back I think right. it might be different be interesting to see let's go to Reese, who's a Spurs fan alright Reese. hiya um, we talk about Pochettino there would you have him back yeah any day Pochettino you look at Conte you know the free back system, it's just not working. It's proper boring football, I think. I've been to a few Spurs games over the past um, 
weak and it's just boring football completely. I prefer Pochettino with a, I think it's the four-two-three-one. Pochettino lines up uh, very attackive, uh, but no, not Conte. I'm not, I'm not feeling him at the moment. I want him gone. Mm. Race, do you, look, because he's come out and slaughtered the players, and you know, look, some of them do deserve that. Uh, at yeah. that dressing down yeah. that they, they deserve because it's been some of the performances have not been good enough but do you feel like he was passing the buck a little bit you know because everyone's been talking Definitely. about how bad his performances oh, have been how bad his tactics that's the point have been making. he's not he's, you know, he's passed he's the said, buck he's told some truths he hasn't told all the yeah. truths I believe yeah. I believe he has told the truth obviously you look at some Tottenham players and they're just not given 100% you look at only about three players who are given 100% on the pitch and it's just it's nice like I'll give you a few examples Romero he's given 100% and Pedro Porro but the rest is no it's just not good enough mm. Son especially he's, he's been off the ball this season you look at the last two seasons he's had he's been really good but this season you just look at him now and it's just no no yeah all right, Reese, I really appreciate your call. Spurs fans, I want to hear from you. You can get involved in that chat. Who comes in? Is it Pochettino's time to return to Spurs? The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.